Nikita in the building. What's going yes. on with your little lady? Not much. Just on my way home. <laughs> all right, all right. That's what's up. Right, on the road. That's what's up. That's what's up. So where uh, yo, can yo, you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can hear you real good. You good, you good, coming in loud and clear. All right. So yo yes. so your phone puts you in Washington, like what washington state washington dc where 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 would introduce yourself and where you hail from yes my name is kita and i hail currently from maryland brandywine maryland but of course i'm in the dmv area so i'm pretty much like five ten minutes from both the virginia national harbor maryland and washington dc so okay yeah i'm in that now you know area. I I hear I hear people always talk about that particular area the DMV. Break that down for me. Like what what is is that abbreviated for something? What is that? Yeah, DMV is stands for pretty much the short of DC, Maryland, Virginia. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Oh, okay, the okay. DMV. Okay, okay, but you so was you so was you born and raised in in Maryland or born and raised in the the other DMV? No, I was born and raised in Meharan, Virginia, which is pretty southern Virginia. I'm close. That's closer to like thirty minutes from the North Carolina line. So I'm from the country. I'm born and raised in the country. country oh, girl. Okay, well so, you. you um, you know what's so funny? I'm I'm I I just came up from uh from the Virginia mountains. I hate going down seventy seven, man. I really do. It is. It, 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 you know what? I don't even know what highway that is. Seventy seven. What is run you through? No, I I seventy seven. You don't know I seventy seven, the Virginia mountains, no. Bit Bit Walker Tunnel, and and the other tunnel. Uh, it takes you through. Uh, it takes Roanoke you. Roanoke and Bristol, Virginia. Well, it takes you through uh, Ohio, so I start in Ohio, so oh. 77 from Ohio, then West Virginia, then Virginia, then North Carolina, wow. and then South Carolina, and then Georgia, and then the rest of the way that goes down that way. Oh, but yes, yeah, okay. Sep- yeah, okay. I went to trucking. I went to trucking school in West Virginia, Sophia, West Virginia. It's oh, okay. just some good old country folk out there. Oh, okay, yeah. that's what's up. Speaking of uh, speaking of before trucking, what what did you used to do before you got into trucking? Um, I just got out of the military, twenty years in the army, um, reserve actually. But I did some active duty time. Um, I deployed to Afghanistan, uh, twelve thirteen. Um, in the military, I was started out as a wheel vehicle mechanic, then into a fueler, mm-hmm. um, then into the H HR. Oh. But um, throughout that time, you know, I have a background in on the civilian side in criminal justice, and currently now I telework as a government contractor for um, USAID. Okay, so as okay. A senior analyst, so right now, as a senior analyst, so right now I'm teleworking from home and trying to, you know, stretch out and branch off and do some other entrepreneurial stuff. Now I'm curious to know because a lot of a lot of gentlemen in the truck in the day a lot of a lot of veteran gentlemen a lot of guys is is <laughs> is on their soapbox about females being in trucking you know some of them feel that they're not supposed to be here they're supposed to be at home taking care of the kids uh cooking cleaning and all like that what is the parallels of trucking and you being in the military, did you have to go through the same uh, scrutiny as a female uh, military as as you do in trucking? Um, I would I would say it, it just all depends. I really didn't uh, get too much uh, scrutiny and you know biasness out of the military being on the because then I was I started out as a mechanic, but that's a male dominant field you know, in the military, and I went in in 2001, so pretty much they just, like, you know, wrapped me around there, you know, embraced me and, and taught me a lot of stuff, but there were some things that they, you know, wouldn't allow me to do as a female, you know, just for safety purposes, but they weren't against, you know, especially the military, they're not against certain things, but, you know, um, 
I come from a background of truck driving. My father's 73 years old and still driving trucks. He's been driving trucks since I was a kid. So um, my sister and her husband, they're in the truck industry. She doesn't drive. He does. But I've always had a thing for trucks, you know, just driving. And then when I got into the military and I started driving all the different tactical vehicles and, you know, they they put you out there. In military, they straight up train, you know, train you. They, you know, you're thrown out there and you just take it as it comes. And so I loved it. I loved the experience and, you know, driving the many different vehicles that the military have you exposed to. How, so um, how, when I say, I'm sorry. How, how long you was in the military? It sounds like you, you did the full bid. You, you did? Yes. The- March, yeah, March 16th was 20 years. I was actually in basic training doing 9-11. I had to give you a bomb drop for that. So, looky here, man. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your service and everything. So, you went in. So, you did Did you went in with a plan to do the full 20 or it just happened? I didn't. It just happened because, you know, I come from a small town. So, I just wanted to get away and get out of that town. You know, just my, sister, my oldest sister went into the military when she had a high school. She's an Air Force veteran. So, I was just like, you know. A year after high school, I ran into my, because I was in ROTC in high school, I ran into my ROTC um, instructor, and he was, you know, just signed me up, and, and it just went from there. And again, I say, you know, now, I don't see, um, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I, I didn't mean to cut you off. Go ahead. No, I was just going back to the top of what you're saying, you know, is there, you know, what is this, you know, like being a female in a male-dominant, you know, profession? Mm-hmm. Hey, you know. If a woman can do the job, why not, you know? Exactly. It doesn't have to be, you know, like, the you know, just how it was back in the day, you know, the woman was, you know, stayed at home, the man, you know, made the money or whatever. Hey, if a woman can do it, let her do it. Heck, you got a lot, some men out here that won't do half the things that women would do. They're lazy. So, mm. I mean, that's some men. I'm not saying all. You know, you got some lazy women, you got some lazy men. Right. They don't want to push themselves to their potential that's afraid, you know, I don't know what the case may be, but, you know, I, I ask, and I'm married, and so my husband motivates me all the time. I, I ask him, you know, a lot of times I, because I've been independent so long, you know, I just got married a year ago, mm-hmm. and me, but me and my husband have been dating for nine years, and I, he know, he knew I was an independent woman when he met me, you know, single mom to teen mother and that, mm-hmm. and so um, I have three children, and so I, t- you know, I had to actually last night ask him, like, love, um, I, you know, I don't want to try to, you know, mishandle anything that God blessed me with, which is my husband. So am I doing too much? You know, is this something that you would want your wife to do, to be out here driving trucks or, you know, doing all this stuff as, as an entrepreneur? He was like, hey, if you have it with it, you know, go ahead and make your money. You know, it's not affecting nothing at home or whatever. He's like, well, if I have a problem with you, know, I'll let you know. But he's all for me, you know. And he's, so, you know, 14 years my senior. He has a career himself, so he's all for it. It's not so, like, he was like, no, we good at home. So, I still. So he's, uh, so he's your biggest supporter. So he's not out, he's not out there saying, oh, well, you know, you being a truck driver, I don't want you to be a truck driver. I want you to be at home. I want you to do something else. I want you to, I want you to get into another field. I don't want you, you know, being in those trucks or anything like that. He's, he's, he's your right. biggest supporter. He is. Because, I, like I said, again, I say I have a degree in criminal justice, and with him being a police officer, my dream was to always be a probation parole officer. But then when I met him and I told him that, he was like, nah, that ain't for you. I wouldn't want to see you in that field as soon as stuff happens, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, okay. I look past that. And so I kept pursuing, you know, the military stuff, government contracting, you know, just doing the HR stuff and all that. All right. So, yeah, he's my biggest supporter and my children. All right, so back to back to the military. So did you did you see any? Um, I know you say you was a mechanic and you 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 stepped up in the ranks, but did you see any action or anything? Did I see any second? Uh, did you see any action? Uh, I think there was a couple of was there a couple of wars during the, or was that in the late nineties or some shit like that? No, I I went to Afghanistan in uh, 2012, 2013. Okay. Yeah, there's a couple of wars, but that's another thing that people kind of 
you can be misled by the military. It all depends on your job. Mm -hmm. You're not out there. If you're not infantry, you know, special forces, stuff like that, you're not going to see, you know, a lot of stuff that, that the war stories that you hear some people saying, you know. Mm -hmm. I honestly went to Afghanistan as a as HR, you know, supporting the S-1, the administrative task. When I got there, I was assigned as an advisor for the Afghan local police. So there was a team. I was, again, the only female on this team with other male soldiers and airmen and people from the Marines and Navy. And um, we did a lot of convoys, you know, throughout Afghanistan. The one thing that I can say that I did experience was the hostility mm -hmm. from some of the local Afghanistans towards the military um, in public, actually in public, because, you know, how they're governed. Uh-oh. Two weeks before I was about to leave, and there was mm -hmm. another unit that took over um, our role. When they were out on a convo one day, we got the um, message that, you know, there was a, a IED. They got, like, three of the vehicles in the convoy got blown up. Mm. And I, that hit me hard because that was, like, two days from my son's birthday. Mm. I'm demobbing, get ready to come home, and that, that could have been us because they took our route. They took over what we were doing. So I never seen anything, you know, fr you know front row seat. No. Um, we did carry weapons, but that right there kind of hit me hard because, you know, that was supposed to have been, I thank God it wasn't, I, you know, right. I'm sorry it happened to those that it did, but that right there kind of like, wow, you know, Man, that could have possibly been. Yeah, that could have. That so. could have. That that could have been you, man. That's whoo. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm glad I'm, I'm I'm glad it wasn't, and I'm I'm glad that right. you that I'm glad it wasn't, and I'm glad that you're here to uh, you know, to share the story, man. So, right. you 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 got out of the military. You got out of the military. Damn it! You got out of the military, and you uh you i guess you know you had the conversation with your husband as far as you you getting into trucking now you say you went and got your your cdl down in west virginia you you didn't get it while you was in the military they didn't offer no no cdl training while you was in the military no i have i have my military life and the dmv does have a program where you can you know get your commander and all that stuff to sign off on you know, everything. But by that time, I had already gone to the DMV, took my test, and I only needed to do the, the road, you know, the, I needed to have a truck to go and do the um, skills test portion mm -hmm. of it. But DMV was so backed up, I wouldn't be able to go to DMV until February. So me, sometimes I'm impatient. I went ahead and paid the school, which is a legit school in West Virginia, you know, it's like a crash course to go, you know, do the skills test, pre-inspection, the turns they want you to do in the road test. I went to uh, West Virginia and did that. And instructors can tell you, in two days, I, you know, just two days of their training, they were like, wow, you sure you haven't driven a truck before? Because <laughs> I've done this in the military. <laughs> you know, so I'm like, okay, cool. And then recently one lady was like, oh, wow, you got, you know, military background experience. You can automatically get two years of experience, you know, trucking, I guess, on the road driving experience automatically or whatever. So that's why I say when I made that post on Facebook was that, and I hate, you know, I don't, I wasn't trying to go there, but it's like, you know, what's going on? Because I got turned down by two jobs locally that, you know, was looking for CDL drivers, and I don't know, maybe because they, well, hold, you know, I hold, don't be there. Hold, hold, hold that thought. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll touch on that in a second. So you're, uh, right. so you, you went crash course, got your CDL, bam, bam, boom. How much did you have to pay the school for the, for the crash course? It was twelve hundred dollars. Oh man, that that wasn't bad. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean it's it's a fully functioning operating school. I mean people go there all the time. It's a lot. Of, they have a lot of success stories. CDL assist in Sophia, West Virginia. They have a lot of success stories. They okay. got people that come out of jail and go and do it, and they have videos of guys that have come out of jail, never driven trucks before, but they have driven trucks, you know, and have a career now after all these years being locked up. So. I commend them, you know, and I, you know, I had a family member to call me because I had posted on Facebook. You can see it on my post that I, you know, I passed my CDL mm -hmm. and he asked me, he was like, Hey, you know, 
because he didn't think it was legit or whatever. I was like, you know, if you feel you need to go to school, that's fine. I, you know, but if you don't feel you need to go to school, that's another thing too. So don't knock me, whoever may be trying for, but to be, oh, how you gonna learn how to do this and stuff? You, you don't have the experience of, hey, it is what it is. I have my background military experience. And so the DM, they, at the school, <clears throat> They, the instructors train you, but they, they're not the ones who test you. They have an actual, legit licensed DMV instructor that comes there to test you. The DMV knows nothing about you, knows no affiliate, nothing. So you're now, he's the one testing you and going on the road trip with you. So these people that train me didn't test me. This is a legit person from the DMV that comes there with his iPad and he tests you on everything so it's not a scam and I passed my test and my results came back to Maryland to my state and I got my CDL all right so congratulations let me give you a bomb drop on that all right so you so you now got your CDL and from from there did you from there you're you're looking for like a local job or you looking for an over the road job like well I'm actually looking for local because I I'm talking to a lot of you know well, I wouldn't say a lot talking to my sister and her husband and my father for one they both out of hell out of Virginia they stay in state and they still make good money I don't have to I really don't have to go out of the state but with me being in DMV I can go to DC Maryland right here in Virginia and so possibly you know, Pennsylvania, Delaware, and still come, can be home at the same time. But I was just trying to find, you know, work with a local company just to have something to do until I felt comfortable like enough to say, okay, yeah, this is what I really want to do. But um, I guess, I'm sorry, go ahead. Okay, so so the low, so you, you know, you putting in applications, you're, you're, mm-hmm. you're talking to recruiters and everything, but you're saying that they not giving you the they they're not giving you no opportunity because of your background. Well, the one job, the two places actually. I I called local companies in the state. I didn't call like the big companies, Prime, CR England, all of them. I did I did the run through with them when I had my permit, mm-hmm. and they wanted me to go to, you know, come to them, drive over the road with a stranger, somebody I don't know, which I'm not comfortable with nowadays in time. You know, mm-hmm. going over the road with anybody like that. Got a husband at home. I'm, I'm in a truck sleeping in, on the road with another. No, I, I wasn't comfortable with that. So that's why I took the option to go ahead and do this fast track class with the guys in West Virginia. Instead of being on the road making nine, what, five, six hundred dollars a week or nine hundred dollars a week just training mm-hmm. and on the road when I can sit at home and make, continue to make my salary I'm making. And just, mm-hmm. you know, take three days off. Which that's what I did to get my CDL. Eliminate a lot of, you know, at that time. So these local companies that I was calling, you know, I could tell from me talking to them on the phone, by me being a female, that, oh, uh, well, I, I don't know. Are well, you sure you know how? And then they asking me information, stuff about trucks. And I'm telling them, okay, well, let me get back with my supervisor and I'll, you know, I'll let you know. Never got a call back. Mm. The other company, um, called him and he was like oh well um well no we were looking for class b i said well i i have that endorsement too i could oh you can drive yes i can drive dump truck um you sure it's you you know you have to know how to lift the body on i said yes sir i do oh what kind of experience i said civilian wise i don't have experience working with a summer after military wise i have experience oh no we don't need Uh um, with a company and i'm like are you serious i said well do you have any referrals so he gave me another company's name. I looked them up, but I was like, you know what? Bump that. I'm not even going to, you know, bother. I'll just continue to do what I'm doing. Wait on my truck to come next month. Get on the road myself. So, all, um, all this, then, all this yeah. discouragement, this, uh, all, all yeah. this discouragement. And, and to my understanding, companies is like hurting for drivers. And they giving right. you and, right. and they giving you all this discouragement, like, well, what do you know how to do? And and this, that, and the third, like, bro, I've been in the military for twenty years. Like, I I drove right. big I, I, I drove big trucks and 
without a CDL. Now that I got one, it's, yeah. now that I got one, you 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 put me through the ringer. That's yeah, I'm giving something that weighs, that weighs more than a uh, than a semi. You talking about tons? Right, tons, not, not fifty and forty six, twenty six thousand pounds. No, that's like, crazy. Come on now, really? That is crazy. Yeah, that drive. that is crazy that they giving you all this discouragement, so on, man. Like, really? And that's and yeah. and that's and that's some disrespect too. You a military vet, twenty years deep, and they can't they, yeah. you know, they over here talking about like you know we love our military and all like that. But here you are, trying to try trying to get a, you know, trying to get in where you can fit in, and and they shutting the door. That's not yeah. cool. So, I mean, <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. That it's not, all good. That is not cool. <laughs> That's crazy. I haven't. I haven't heard. Now you know what. You you know what. I hate to say this. I hate to say this. Let me. Shh. I hate to say this, but I guarantee you they wouldn't have gave you the runaround if you was a man. Say again. I can't hear you. I said I guarantee you that they wouldn't have give you the runaround if you was a man. Right, because a man you get on the all they gotta do is hear the voice. They're probably with it. <laughs> mm. That's 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 yeah. wow. And then and then going back to some of the, I don't have that problem. I haven't had that problem. Right, because you went to a company that you probably went through a company, did their training, they trained you, you went over the road that this and that. Of course, yeah, they're gonna trust that you you know know what you're doing because they you went through their training program. You're driving with their trainer now. They let you lose. You're driving on your own. Gotcha. Mm, yeah, all that's, of that. I didn't go through that process. That's 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 so, so wow. That, that, just to hear just to hear this story right here is like man. You know you you over here like y'all y'all looking y'all need drivers y'all hollering for drivers y'all coming into facebook y'all y'all sending all these ads and here she is 20 years deep wolf wolf bit truck experience without a cdl went to a school crash course in three days got your cdls and and they still not showing you no love man so got my cdls and then got my and got my now i got my twit card now so now, i'm getting all my credentials now let's talk about let's, let's talk about you getting your authority like what, right. what what did you when when did you get your authority and what did you go how did you go by getting uh going through the process of getting it you know what i'm glad you asked that question because i was following so many people on social media and i don't knock anybody you do what you got to do to do what you got to do and you know, I know I understand people, you know, want people to pay for their knowledge and stuff like that. But there's a lot of times I was asking people for certain, you know, about certain stuff. And people make it seem like, oh, you got to go through this, you got to go through that or whatever. And everybody has a different story. You know, they might say the same thing in my leave, but hey, what I did, I just got tired of getting the runaround. I just jumped out there and did it myself. I called this company, Foley Services. They gave me the run that, hey, this is what you need to do. They guided me through the whole thing. Had my authority since February of this year. Mm. And me and my son operate box trucks. So right now, my son is driving a box truck, and my nephew is driving a box truck under my authority. So I know people are saying, oh, well, you got your own authority. You can drive for yourself. Yeah, that's true, too. That's true. But I wanted to get out here and before I invest in a semi truck and drive for a company and see if this is something I really want to do before I stop doing what I'm doing. Right. You know what I'm saying? I can take the risk of driving for somebody else, you know, because it's all good to say, okay, I'm going to drive. I'm going to drive. Well, when you ain't got no other choice but to drive, then, okay, you're going to do that. I don't, I, I have other choices, you know. So that's my whole thing of getting out here driving for somebody else. Yes, I have an authority, so now I see what I'm going through, you know, with these biased companies, some of these biased companies. Yeah, when my truck is delivered, I will drive under my own authority. And I think maybe that's what, what the purpose is. Hey, don't waste your time. With little money driving for other companies when you can just stay in fast, keep your salary you keep you're getting now, and your side hustle you got now. When your truck come go drive for yourself and drive when you want to drive. So, so Lord, so, I thank you for the so, I thank you for the doors being closed. So what about uh so what about the box truck company? How many box trucks that you got right now that you're running? Two. 
All right. So, so you got your you got your son driving one and you driving the other one, or how that work? My, my nephew. Oh, okay. So you keeping it in the family? Yeah. Yeah, but, but yeah, for now because you know they understand we're trying to you know grow and it's still you know I use me and my husband we use our money to start this off you know learn you know just learning you know trial and error lost you know went in the hole the first three to four months you know got back out of the hole and now it's like the level we you know we we learned about business credit you know all that stuff so. You know, it's, it's starting to take a turn for the better now. And I thank God for my son and my nephew because, you know, they are willing to get out here and sometimes, you know, work for less than what the average person would just to, mm-hmm. you know, see the business, you know, become afloat. So, yeah. Well, you know, a, a immediate family sees the vision. You know what I'm saying? My son, just uh-huh. like when I when I was uh, doing my uh, my road service, my son seen my vision. So, of course, he came out to help me. It's unfortunate that you can't find somebody else to see your vision to help you build the build the business. Because all they looking at is what's going in your pocket versus, you, you know, what I could do for them in the near future if they was there to willingly help me out. So you're you right. so you're getting so you're in the process of getting a semi. Yeah. yeah. All right. So while you're in the process of getting a semi, is the plan for you to drive it until you find somebody to to uh to drive it? Is that the plan? Yeah. Yeah. And my son is actually kinda, you know, gearing towards getting his CEO. He hasn't made his mind up yet. But if he does decide to, you know, he may get into for a little while, but our goal is to, you know, find, of course, find drivers, find workers, you know, good, loyal workers and treat them right, you know, because that's my whole thing is trying to, you know, help people in the community, help people, especially veterans, you know, and our, our people, you know, and our young men, you know, become gainfully employed. Mm-hmm. Well, that's what's so, up, man. Yeah. That's what's up. Keep... Uh, yeah. I, I don't want to mess up your name again. Ke- Keita. Ke- 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 Keita. Yeah. See? Yeah. I got it. Keita. And what's your, and what's your name again so I don't top it up? My name's Shine. <laughs> you, you, you can call me Lockout, but my name's Shine. Okay, Lockout. So, lockout, and I know we think we wouldn't discuss this, but um, I don't know where, where you're about to go with it right now. But um, I just well, before we get off of this whole thing, I'm going to get on the post that I made. because. Oh, well, go like, ahead. The guy... Yeah, the guy that um, kind of questioned my, uh, I wouldn't say authority, but questioned, you know, my background, I guess. I'm like, ah, oh, nah, some else must, my, some else must be wrong or whatever. Well, hold, 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 that, th- hold that thought. Let's sh- <laughs> uh, shout out to uh, She Trucking. You know, that's why I met this young lady. Yeah, yes. she uh, yes. she made you know she made a post, and you know, just like this, like with everybody, we all have an opinion. I mean, you know, I kind of had mine, but like I said, I like I said, I, I like to like what we doing right now, we conversating. You know, so right. we talk, we conversating, we talk, and we get to know one another and i and i got a better understanding of where you was coming from now when you made that post versus when i made my comment in the post so now that i got a better understanding i can see where you was coming from so a lot of other people a lot of other people of course going to come in there with their opinions you said you had an issue with one of them which which uh which one was it in go I don't know what his, I can't remember his name, therefore it's not important. Yeah, we don't have to say names. So he's, yeah. So, but uh, the little old no, something must, something else must be wrong with the laughing emoji or whatever. You know what, laugh on, but you know what, yeah, something was wrong. I'm overqualified. That's what was wrong. I'm overqualified. And the fact that, no, I don't have a, a reckless driving record. Mm-hmm. Um, I wouldn't have a CDL. If I had a, a, a horrible background, right. I got a trick card. So if I'm a criminal and, you know, reckless, wouldn't have a trick card. Second of all, um, I have a top secret clearance that I've been still active for 10 years still while I've been retired from the military, sir. So, um, yes, it was a male that made that comment, not a female. So nothing against the females. It was a male 
and I looked at his profile. He's an older male. So, sir, um, something must be wrong with you. You need to wake up and get out of that uh, captive mentality because it looks like you're still driving for someone yourself. So, um, well, shout out. To, an entrepreneurial mindset. Shout, hey, how about that? Shout out to you, Kita, for getting everything together. Yeah. Uh, 20 year vet so thank you for your service i really do appreciate you coming on here and uh and chopping it up with me and everything i know you had your reservations at first but you know we talked offline yeah. but i am glad that you came on and shared your story because it was it was very interesting that these companies is 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 in giving is is just giving you the runaround and not giving you the opportunity versus somebody that didn't that don't have the same skill set or the experience as you and they would get in they'll give that they'll give that to them in a heartbeat yeah yeah but um you know i think again i have to like i said i have to accept the fact that you know people want sometimes people are curious why doors are Closed, and some people are curious to why doors are open, and they feel like that they, they, they that they aren't qualified. I mean, doors still open, so I, I just look at it. I'm overqualified, not to you know, to my own horn or nothing like that. But it's just you know, hey, when one door closes, the next open. I just feel like it's just that that's probably not my route right now. So exactly. I'll, I'll take it. Exactly. You know, take it. take it how it comes. Take it how it comes. Hey. When when are you getting <laughs> when when are you getting your semi? Um, I'm supposed to go meet, uh, I'm looking at three of them and we're going to try to go see them and touch them because my father wants to go with me to make sure they're good trucks. Um, but by the end of this month and hopefully by the beginning, after the new year, um, I can get on the road. All right. So, so are, are you going to finance way or are you, you doing this out of pocket? I'm going to do out of pocket. So that's what my father wants to go with me. Make sure I'm not getting the, um, a lemon or ranking in cause he knows truck. Yeah. So. It'll be out of pocket. All right, that's It'll be what's out of up. Pocket, so. That's that's what's up. Yeah, he man. doesn't. He doesn't want me to get these. He doesn't want me to get these new trucks. He told me to get some in the 1990s. <laughs> yeah, so you and don't I'm have like, to worry about all that death truck. shit. And and wait, yeah. wait, 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 wait. He he wants you in a he wants you in a manual, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's and I, yeah, and I and I tested in a manual. I tested a ten uh ten speed. Okay. Whatever they call it, yeah, it is whatever. But yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, Ke mm -hmm. well, Keita, you are a citizen. Thank you for coming on and sharing your story with us this evening. I really do Thank appreciate you. it. Thank you very much. Whenever yo yo yeah. get let's let's touch base again next year when um when you actually get the truck and we can uh, we we can probably we could probably chop it up again. Absolutely. That's what I was going to say. I'll get in touch with you, you know, when I, you know, get across that next hump That's and get out there. That's what's up. That's yeah. what's up. Thank you very much, ma'am. Well, you take it Thank easy. You. I know you have a lot of stuff to do this evening and everything, and you need to get home. So let me go in here to let you go so you go in and get home safe. All right. You have a good night. Thanks. All right. Take it easy. You too.